Hello, hi, this is Paul Finn. Today I'm going to talk about a summary of Hack the Entrepreneur by John Nestor, as written by Sam Thomas Davis about the summary. And so Sam has a great summary okay, on the Hack the Entrepreneur, which I always want to read. Here's a quick summary. Three, do not understand me that you, your laptop, and a good Wi-Fi connection. <laughs> Three things. Uh, can and plus number four most important work hard can accomplish in order to be an entrepreneur you need to be actually act like an entrepreneur first build a viable business that give you the money and freedom to do what you love the five big idea I have 35 detail but I just summarize from all those summarize you can see that the total 35 here all very good one is we always always estimate the size of our hurdles until we overcome them. Two, life is short. The work that matters. Three, move from being a customer to being a produ producer. Four, always be proud of creating something out of nothing. Five, you don't have to outsmart your competition or have more resources. You just have to well work them. So. A detailed summary is first, you know, do not underestimate that you and your laptop and the good Wi-Fi connection, the hard work can accomplish these other new rules of business. Get used to it or keep your day job. Overcoming um, my sense of inadequacy was one of the most liberating feelings in my life. Three, yes, of course, you have to find your periods of Hustle and hard work, but you also have to uh, nurture your period of stepping back and taking time off from the business. Allow yourself this time without being anxious about you are not working enough. Keep your passion and you'll give you the energy and focus required tasks to build and launch your next project and grow your business. Number four, in order to be an entrepreneur, you need to act like an entrepreneur. That means acting however you want. As long as you build things and put them out into the world. Five, rather than building a business around what you love. So, build a viable business that gives you the money and freedom to do what you love. Okay. What do you want your lifestyle and business to look like? Think about this when starting and begin with your end goal in mind. 7. Determine exactly what you want from your business, then begin with the end in mind. Number 8. We always overestimate the size of hurdle until we overcome them. 9. Accept that the starting point is the worst your business will ever be. Number seven, life is short. Do work that matters. Number eleven, you will never have all the information, only the information that is available to you where you pre presently are. Number twelve, move from being a customer to be a producer. Number thirteen. Enjoy the low because they make the high much higher. Number 14. Remember your business is not about you. It's never about you. It's about your customer. Number 15. Luck is byproduct of hard work. Number 16. I have a piece of paper, a fierce page, if you will where I write down whatever is keeping me from doing something at the specific moment. By doing so, I can dimensionalize my fear as Jay said, this was allow me to see what mistake I have made and how limiting fear can be. Number 17, the future needs go, today needs appreciating, and yesterday needs to be acknowledged. Number 18. Your ideas are worthless until you take action. Number 19. In order to win in your market, 
you need to understand your competition better than they understand themselves. Twenty five people that will push you as far as you they can. Twenty one. The value of an idea is only realized during its execution. Twenty two. What you make in your business or your spare time, no matter how insignificant it may seem, has the ability to change someone's life. Twenty-three, failure is not the end of an idea or a business venture, but the starting point of the next one. Number twenty-four, the only way to fail as an entrepreneur is to quit before you have seen enough failure to find your success. Number twenty-five. In order to be really successful, you have to be able to work hard every single day, celebrating the win and accepting the failure. Number twenty-six. When you fall while climbing an obstacle, you simply land back on the plateau you were just on. You don't have to start from scratch again. Number twenty-seven. Always be proud of creating something out of nothing. Number twenty-eight. Even if you don't make a bunch of money out of it, you have done something most people in the world will never do, and you deserve a pat on the back. You have executed your idea, which gives them value. Number twenty-nine. When you find yourself in a dip, put your head down. Keep working hard. Don't look up until it's clear you have made it through. Number thirteen. Entrepreneurs are not born; they are created through mindset, determination, and a willingness to work hard. Number thirty-one. You have to appreciate what you have accomplished, no matter how small it might seem. Why many unimpressed? Because that will drive you forward. Thirty-two. Be a CEO of your own show. Thirty-three. At times, we have to do the work that has to be done, even if we are not great at it and don't like doing it. It is the nature of running a business: think big and work small. Thirty-four. Our business do not need us to be good at everything, but they do require us to. Acknowledge our shortcoming with courage and humility. Thirty-five. We don't have to over outsmart your comp competition or have more resources. You just have to outwork them. I hope those thirty-five summary is good for you. If you were never starting with a online business, most of you are, or the brick and mortar business, they all apply. And um, it doesn't matter if you just getting started or you have been trying to make money online for a while. The trial system will work for you. Okay, thank you so much. And today, life hack is you can wrap a wall on the damaged wooden furniture like this one and to cover the thing. And of course, you know, put um, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, service. Uh, well, we call that the polishing. That you know, go to Home Depot or something. You can see the polishing oil for the wood, and it looks like new. Thank you so much for watching this video. You have a very blessed day. Thank you. Bye bye.